Uh, welcome to AutoCAD uh, class. I want to take you today again on autographic uh, drawing or autographic projection. And I will be using uh, third angle projection to explain this. And this is a, uh, an isometric drawing, which I'll be using too. So the first thing you have to know is setting of your uh, construction layer property, which you can do via, you can say why you have set my, I have construction, you come over here, you pick new, then you put whatever you want to insert, and then set your construction or layer uh, property. So you can change the line type, the line width, and uh, whatever you want to use here over there. You set it and you name it as I name this construction line, I name it object. You can do that also. Now, but for the course of this lesson, I have set my, uh, I'll be using this, this for my construction line. If I click my construction line, you discover that it's changed. The layer also changed. I've set it. If I click here, and click my object, then it will change also. So it is set, and that is what I want to use. Now, the first thing you do is that you start with your construction line. You click on X line. That is your construction line, X line. You click Enter. So you see the set specify the point or horizontal vertical angle basis offset so you can, I can come over here and click something like this over here you see that's my construction line and i'll click then i'll click over here too so for this i'll also move over here this is my baseline and click on it so that is where I want to draw my drawings from. Now let's begin with this. Uh, this is my front view. This side that the cursor is touching. That's my front view. Uh, sorry, I did not indicate by using an arrow to show you the front view, but this is the front view. So I want to start. You know, in any drawing, uh, especially in orthographic, the if it's a third angle projection, the front view will be down here. Uh, the, the the side view will be here and the plan will be up. So then for uh, first angle projection, the front view will be up, the plan will be down, and the side view will be up by the by your right. So and that is uh, the difference. But for now, I'm using third angle projection. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to get this height first. This height is 30. I'm going to offset that height, that 30, I'm going to offset the height 30, so offset this distance by 30, that is the height, I have to offset first 30, enter, then the next thing is that I want to show this distance, which is here at 66, I will offset this by 56, by so clicking here, so Offset 30 first. If you offset 30, enter. You click. So I come over here and I pick this line and offset. You see, it, it will offset automatically 30. So you come over here, you pick the line and you click offset. Then you specify that's 66. So the next thing is that I have to show because make a difference uh, I divided this line to four compartments one two three four so I have to use a line of set this by five to show it a, a demarcation and uh, I can offset by another five if I wish to but if I want to use one line it's okay then I'll set by five. Five. 
then I come over here, I pick offset again. I pick this line and I pick offset. I want to offset by by 40, which is the distance between here and this plant, where it will be my front view and my plan up there. So I will stretch by what by 40. Then I would like to offset this also by 5. This way, 5. Then I would like to offset also this one by 40. So I've done that. So the next thing I will do is to begin to implement these lines one by one. So I start from this point. From this point to this point is 10. So I'll come over here and I'll set this line by 10. Up. That's 10. Then, after that, I will come to show this line from this point to this point is 6, 16. So I will set this one by 16. Inside. That's 16. So, and after I've done that, so, you know, from this place I can show my front view, but I will come over again and show this up here, which is, uh, 12. So I'll set this by 12. But from there, let me show my phone view first. You go over here, you click on object layer, then you pick P line. That's poly line. You start over here. You can show your, I can show you my phone view now. This is my phone view. That's my front view, but let me continue with my construction X line. Okay, I can continue with this line. Then I pick this. I want to offset by by 12. Then for this, I can also offset. I want to offset also by 13, which is the distance between here and here, 13. Then I can offset again by clicking this one, enter, that's 13, offset by 13 inside again, 13. So I've done that. So from this side now I can show you my plan. Coming over here and picking my object line. I can show you my plan from here. And then this will be my plan. This should be my plan from this point. Using X line. Sorry, P line. That is my my plan. If you are looking from the top view, also you know you are going to see this also up. You are still going to see this part. This part will still show. So uh sorry. Let me pick it uh from a uh, You are going to see this also. 
this is part of the plan what you're going to see from the upper part so so that's my that's the plan I want to show the plan properly. So that's what you are going to see from the top view. That is the way you are going to see the plan drawn. So the next thing you are going to see is the this uh, side view. And the side view over here, this turn is showing that is this height from this point to this point is already showing. And this side from this point to this point, 40, is already there. So what are you going to see again? You are going to see this side and I'm going to see this two point, which is 13, 13. So I have to offset this by 13 so i've observed the both sides both this side and this side by 13 then so from this side now you can see uh if I go to object if I pick my P line that's poly line I can show you the side you you are going to see from here. That's your side view. Those are the what you are going to see as far as uh, these drawings can concern. This is your plan. This is your side view. That's your front view, and this is the side view. So I want to trim out these lines now. I want to trim out everything now. I can come to trim. Where is my trim? This is my trim, and I can start trimming out the lines one by one. Can trim out these lines one by one. Can press enter, then I can trim out this. So you can see I can trim out. I can delete this. I'll trim out that line. I can also delete this. So, and then uh, delete. Then I can also trim out this other line so that you can see your drawing very well. You can start trimming. So. So trimming out.
So if you look at this diagram now, you understand that from this diagram, this is my, sorry, there's even a mistake here, uh, because this space is going to be, this way, still trying to, This is what you are going to see from that uh, diagram. As you view, this is your uh, your plan. This is your your front view, and this is your the side view. This is the front view, and this is the side view. This red line, as I tick, this is your front view showing over here. As I click on that line, that's your front view. In, uh, that I highlighted the poly line, the front view. So you can see over here that's the front view. Then here, this is your uh, your over here. That's your side view. That is all you can see. Then this is your uh, mm, plan. Over here. So this has to draw graphic uh, uh, diagram. Plus, I think. Uh, I'll be able to just construction lines can be deleted. So now actually come over to you and that's that uh, for now. Thank you.